Good evening. News break at 10.20. Opposition leader Jim Bolger has dubbed the sale of Air New Zealand a shambles. His comments come as Transport Minister Bill Jeffries washes his hands of negotiations on the sale, although he'll remain as the minister responsible for the airline. He stepped aside to be replaced by Richard Preble when the government announced it was reopening tenders for a total sale of the national carrier. Qantas says it's bewildered by the latest turn of events. Māori activist Eddie McLeod is appearing in court tomorrow after allegedly threatening Auckland Hospital Board consultant Hiwi Tauroa. It's claimed Mr Tauroa was threatened with the necklace, a black African way of killing traitors. Mr McLeod's charged with threatening to cause grievous bodily harm and has also been suspended from his Māori affairs job. The alleged threat against Mr Tauroa came after a hospital board decision to close the controversial Māori health units at Carrington and Mr Tauroa has decided to press charges because he fears for his family's safety. The government is launching a new crackdown on New Zealand's 15,000 overstayers. Immigration Minister Stan Roger says the introduction of a new Immigration Act and then an amnesty has meant they've not been chased for a while. Now, with more staff in the department, it's time to track down with renewed vigour those outstaying their welcome. South African rugby chief Dani Craven is facing a storm of protest against his deal struck with the banned African National Congress. Craven has clinched a pledge from the ANC to help get the Springbacks, Springboks back into the midfield of international rugby on condition the sport's organised along non-racial lines. He's now out of favour with the government, which regards the ANC as a terrorist group. The Queen has earned a warm welcome from the Spanish on the first ever visit by a British monarch to their country. She was met by King Juan Carlos and won acclaim by saying she's hoping for an early agreement on Gibraltar. The future of the British colony is the one issue that in the past has hampered good relations between the two countries. An unusual hazard created quite a buzz in Florida today. A truck carrying 1,500 hives overturned on a state highway. The driver was thrown clear, but so were hundreds of thousands of bees. The authorities reacted calmly, though, and were able to prevent any jam at the scene of the crash. And that's all from the newsroom. Good night.